So we're going to calculate the surface area and the volume of this composite object. Now this composite object is a nail polish bottle and it's made up of two three-dimensional objects, a cylinder and a rectangular prism. And since the composite object is made up of two three-dimensional objects, the surface area will be calculated twice, once for the cylinder and once for the rectangular prism. The same applies to volume. We need to calculate the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the rectangular prism. Now using our previous knowledge or just simply googling the surface area of a cylinder, we see that the surface area equals 2 pi r squared, r being the radius, plus 2 pi r h, and h being the height of the cylinder. One thing to notice about the cylinder is that only one of the ends is exposed, so therefore we only have to calculate the top of the bottle, sorry, the top of the cylinder. So that being said, we are not going to be calculating 2 pi r squared anymore. It's now just going to be 1. So pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So we altered our formula a little bit just because the cylinder only has one end exposed. So continuing on, we now have the surface area equals pi times our radius. Now if you look at our dimensions, it gives us the diameter is 18 millimeters. We know that radius is half the diameter, so we just simply half 18 and we get 9. So our radius from the center to the outside is 9 millimeters. So 9 squared plus 2 times pi times our radius again, which is 9 times the height. We know looking at the diagram that it's 43. So using a calculator, we know that pi times 9 squared if we round up to the nearest whole millimeter, is 255 plus 2 times pi times 9 times 43, rounding up to the nearest millimeter, is 2,432. Now we simply add the 2 to get total surface area of the cylinder to be 2,600. 87 millimeters. Now since this is surface area, the units are squared. Once again, using our previous knowledge or searching, we know that the surface area of a rectangular prism formula is surface area equals 2 times width times height plus length times W plus length times height. Now what that is saying is that there are six sides that need to be calculated to get the total surface area of a rectangular prism. So we have one surface here, there's another one there, there's going to be one on the side, and there's going to be one at the back. There's our four sides. Then we have the top and the bottom. Those are the six sides that need to be calculated. And if we look here, we have three sides times two equal six sides in total. So now we just substitute the formula with the numbers from the diagram. So WH, so it'll be 25 times our height, which is 35, plus our length, which is 25, times our width, which is 25, plus our length is 35, times our height, or sorry, our length is 25, times our height of 35. So we have surface area equals 2 times 875 
plus 625 plus 875 again. So once again, surface area equals 2 times 2,375, which gives us a total surface area of this rectangular prism at 4,750. Once again, our units, our surface area, so our units have to be squared. Now we've calculated the surface area of each of the three-dimensional objects that make up the composite object. The last remaining step is to now add a cylinder surface area with the rectangular prism surface area to get a total surface area. So our total surface area for this bottle of nail polish will be 7,400. 37 millimeters squared. Okay, moving on to volume. Once again, we're going to be calculating two volumes here, the first of the cylinder, and secondly, the rectangular prism. So from previous knowledge, or by searching, we know that the formula for the volume of a cylinder is volume equals pi times radius squared times the height. So we know that once again, our diameter is 18 millimeters. Radius is half of that, which means our radius will be 9 millimeters squared times our height. So our volume equals 255 times 43. Our volume for the cylinder is 10,965 millimeters. Now we're dealing with volume, so our units have to now be cubed. And finally, the volume of a right rectangular prism is very simply volume equals length times width times height. And substituting the numbers in the formula will give us 25 for a length times our width of 25 times our height of 35. So our volume equals 21,875. Once again, our units are cubed. Now the final step, just as, like we did with the surface area, so we have to take the volume of the cylinder and add it with the volume of the rectangular prism to get a total surface area, or sorry, a total volume. Our total volume is 32,840 millimeters cubed.